So you think you're think you're kind of old? <laughs> well, you're probably not. I mean, what are you like 30, 40, 50? I mean, that's nothing. <laughs> I mean, I mean, who am I to talk, right? I'm in my late twenties. But people people ask me, am I too old to get into networking? People in their late twenties, which dude, you're still so young. Thirties, you're young. Forties, you're still young. Fifties, you, you could change careers at any time. People think getting into IT is a young man's game. If you don't get in young, then it's like impossible to get into it later on. Nah, it's not. Cause like, here, here's the thing. Anybody with hustle, anybody with drive can jump into networking no matter how old you are. And I think if you're a bit older, it might be a bit easier for you just because uh, hiring managers or just a manager you might be working for, they'll know you have more life experience, more patience, more, um, or maybe more customer service experience. Hey guys, Merry Christmas real quick. Um, in addition to the five courses I'm giving away at the end of this video, so keep watching for that. Right now, hey, be quiet. <laughs> uh, right now, I'm going to be giving away 20 of David Bumble's ICND1 and ICND2 courses. So your full CCNA study, uh, it's, it's all you need for the CCNA, I'm giving away 20 right now. The first 20 people to comment below and let me know, or not let me know, I already know. But you can tell me where I just traveled to, what country I went to, what city I went to. First 20 people, you're getting an ICND1 and an ICND2 course from David Bumble. Ready, go. And also, again, keep watching. I'm giving away five of his Packet Tracer CCNA Lab course at the end of this video. So, yeah, keep watching. All right, back to you, Chuck. And you're going to need those soft skills. I see IT guys vouching for my community here. We're kind of soft on the soft skills, aren't we? We uh, dealing with people is not our forte. I come up, I come from a customer service background, so I used to, you know, I worked at Starbucks whipping up them drinks. So uh, I, I, it came natural to me. So that that was what I really had going for me. But many guys I've dealt with, dude. You say when you talk to someone and they just get pissed off. <laughs> It's, you just don't have that skill set. You need to work on that. Having soft skills is kind of like the X factor when you're a network engineer. It'll take you so far. Don't forget about those things. Anyways, I, I, I divert. Um, are you too old? Absolutely not. There's a guy I follow, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary V. Probably heard of him. So stop making excuses. Oh, these millennial kids are so entitled. I'll, I'll link him up here. Uh, he produces all kinds of crazy, like super motivating videos. I watch him all the time. But one thing he, he talks about a lot, I find it interesting. And, and I always tell my parents this because my parents are uh, in their mid 40s. They're not old at all. But he's, he's like, if you're, if you're from your 30s to your 40s to 50s, you're just starting out. I mean, you can change careers, you can start afresh, you can start new. Don't get bogged down by that. If you found out now in your 40s that you're not doing what you want to do or you're just bored with it, Jump into networking, I'm telling you, you'll have a blast. You're not too old. In fact, I think you might have a leg up just because of the things I talked about earlier. And I mean, I gotta be honest with you, like I'll, um, on the help desk, you know, the help desk is kind of like the entry level thing you, you wanna start with to get your, your kind of progressed into networking, into IT and stuff like that. And there are some guys who just, they love staying on the help desk. That's their thing. And there'll be guys, I mean, I, the last place I worked, there were two guys who were in their 60s they were on the help desk and they, they loved it. So don't get bogged down by the age because there'll be guys who are you know really young, who are network engineers and guys who are really old and guys who are in between. And uh, it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can jump into the help desk and, and be old as dirt and move your way up, it doesn't matter. There might be some young hiring managers that might look down on your age. I had one guy who worked on the help desk and uh, <laughs> he was in his 60s and he always complained that he was on the help desk and st was stuck there because of age discrimination. Uh, it wasn't that though, because I watched the way he worked and he had no drive. He wasn't updating his certifications. He wasn't doing any of that. He just expected to be, uh, to be promoted or esteemed well because he's been in the industry for so long. No, it's all about drive and determination no matter how old you are. So don't get bogged down by that. Uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you're watching this right now and you think you're old, first of all, you're not. You're not at all. It doesn't matter. Just keep going, keep studying. You will find success, no doubt. So I, there's really no age barrier here. Just jump into it and have fun. And plus, if you're watching YouTube right now, you're probably not that old either. You know, just that's silly, silly. And if you think you're old, then you can kind of reverse the process by you know watching YouTube. Uh, hey, get on Snapchat, get on Instagram, Facebook, follow Network Chuck. 
That's how you prove you're not old. Well, that's about it, guys. This is part of the 10 Days of Network Chuck Christmas giveaway. I'm giving away today five of uh, David Bomble's uh, CCNA Packet Tracer Lab course, which is amazing. So if you wanna be one of the lucky winners, five of you, I'm here, I almost spilled my coffee. Whew. Here's how you enter. Go to my Twitter at Network Chuck. If you're not on Twitter, get on Twitter. Follow Network Chuck if you haven't already and tweet at me. Do a, you know, at Network Chuck and tweet. Tell me, I want you to hashtag Packet Tracer, one word, and I want you to tell me what your favorite part of networking is. Could be anything, could be Spanning Street, could be uh, the opportunity it provides. Just anything, let me know. And I will pick five, five, five winners. No, don't, no, five, five, just five, just five winners. And uh, that's about it. Well guys, uh, Thanks for sticking with me in these past few days and I'll uh, see you tomorrow.